What's up guys, we're at the National, we're about to head in. It is already super busy here, we're about 45 minutes early. Uh, not sure how much I'm gonna film in there, but uh, if I do, this will be the first part of the video. All right, we're here. All right, wanted to show you guys the entrance into the show. It was super crowded. Uh, everybody's pretty stoked to be there. This is about 9.30, 9.40 in the morning. Uh, as they're sort of just filtering us into uh, the show. Uh, real crowded. I'm, I'm guessing Friday was the most crowded day so far. I'm going to go back tomorrow and it'll probably be even more crowded. But uh, first thing I did was check out some value boxes, which I'll show you what I got from those in a minute. Also went over to the kids crate and I'll get, I'm going to show you what I got there. Probably the biggest score of the day was the kids crate. Let's check that out. All right, so here's the kids crate line. We got there early, uh, which was crucial. And one of the kids I was in line with uh, opened up his value pack for us, so I could show you what's in there. Um, super long line. I was gonna, I'm gonna say if you're gonna go there tomorrow, they started releasing them at one. You're gonna want to stop by the Panini Pavilion to see when they are and get there about an hour early to get in line because they gave out a free silver pack with every kids crate, which is a fifty dollar value. This kids crate by itself is about a hundred and forty. Um, but shout out to these two dudes, cool dudes. I talked to them for a little bit, local uh, Cleveland sports fans. And, um, you know, just talk sports, good kids. Um, met a lot of fun people in line. So good times. This is us kind of walking around after the fact. Everybody kind of eyeing up the kids crate and the silver pack we have. But um, super crowded, but super fun. You know, no complaints with the crowds because it was people that were there, you know, because they love the hobby. So... This is a great place to be if you're a sports cards fan. I'm going to be back tomorrow. I wasn't planning on going tomorrow, but, you know, I only went for four or five hours a day, and that was not enough. So I will have some more stuff for you tomorrow. But for today, let's go ahead and check out uh, this kid's crate we pulled after we show you some more of this footage. Um, tons of sealed stuff. Pretty decent prices on the sealed stuff. The singles are a little high, I will say. Um... I think your best bet if you're going here is just to kind of look for people to make deals with that are walking around. I think that's probably the best way to kind of get the most bang for your buck selling and buying, but still, you know, buy stuff from the vendors. Um, definitely some of the discount bins can be, you can find some really good stuff in there. But the high, high value singles were a little high in my opinion, but they'll probably come down as the weekend wears on just trying to get rid of some stuff before uh, they leave the national. So Keep that in mind. Saturday and Sunday is probably a good day to buy and sell uh, as the vendors will have a lot of money and vendors will want to be offloading some stuff as well before they go. So I'll just let you check out this footage a little bit more. And let's get into the rip here. It's going to be a long one. Stick around. All right. So here's everything we got day one at the National. Uh, first thing I did when I got there was check out some discount bins. Um, didn't find anything too crazy, like value-wise, but... Uh, Uzoma is a guy who I think is going to be good, so I thought maybe I could make a few bucks on that. Uh, Kyron Williams is just a guy I like. I kind of like the Rams as a backup team, and of course not when we played him in the playoffs, but I think he's a really good player. This is his Notre Dame um, autograph out of pro set. It's rookie year from a few years ago. Number Tyreek Hill, just a good player. Now QJ is just a guy I'm kind of uh, splitting my uh, – hedging my bets on, I guess I'd say. I sold his uh, downtown, so <laughs> just thought I'd pick up a unlicensed uh, rookie auto from him. Um, I think I, I think all these were like twenty-five bucks. So, and then a Devin Duvernay, guys, uh, all pro special teamer. So, on card auto rookie. I thought that was cool for three bucks. I don't know if I'll end up, uh, you know, making any money off of these or anything, but just guys I want to hang on to, players I like um, that are on the cheap. So. Here is the big uh, score from the day, though. I think these are exclusive to Cleveland, to the National. And I'll just show you everything in here. This is a great deal for $75. The Prism Hobby Football Blaster, which by itself is about $65. Absolute Football Hobby Blaster and the Rookies and Stars Hobby Direct Blaster. Also a 23-24 Donruss Basketball Fat Pack, so you're looking for Wimby out of there. Um, just a really, really great value. We are in the hotel room, so I'm going to use a butter knife to open it up. This is going to be a super long video. Who knows how long it will take to upload. If you like this sort of thing, please like and subscribe. I'm uh, going to have some select blasters pretty soon. Um, and also, finally got my Optic Megas. So those will be on the channel as well this week. 
Let's see what else we got in here. We got some cool stuff for the kiddos. We have a rated rookie sticker. That's pretty sweet. A couple rated rookie stickers. Two one touches with the white border. That's pretty cool. Uh, what is that? A. I just dropped it. I think these are. I'm not even sure what the point is here. Is this 55 points? Oh, 55 point on both of them. So enough for a sleeve and a card in there. Um, we got some rated rookie shoelaces. That's pretty cool. And uh, another pair of rated rookie shoelaces. So all this stuff for 75 bucks. Hard to go wrong. I might have to use one of those one touches because I do not have any sleeves or top loaders today. So if I hit anything cool, I will have to transport it somehow. Let's start with the Donruss basketball fat pack here. I'm sure you've seen a lot of these. We're going to have to end with the prism probably. But definitely a sweet deal if you can swing these. Like I said, get to the Panini Pavilion early and uh, see when they are going to be giving any of these out. They've given them out for a couple days at least, but you want to get there early if you want to have a chance to get one because what a deal these are with the silver pack, which I'll open last. There could be something sweet in there. We've got Mitchell, Jason Tatum, Cat, Quiz, that's a good one. Kobe Brown, Taylor Hendricks. What's this backwards card? This is going to be a Desmond Bain parallel. LeBron inserts and a Derek Whitehead. So nothing too crazy out of there. But I'm not here for the basketball. I'm here for the three football blasters. Let's get into absolute football first. Not the coolest product, but there is always that shot at the kaboom. And uh, I think they're only horizontal in the... Oh my gosh, I'm using a butter knife to open this guy, so bear with me. They're only horizontal in here. I'm not sure what the real difference between these hobby blasters and the regular blasters is. Overall, absolute not one of my favorite products, but it is you're just looking for that one in a million chance of hitting that kaboom because those cards are huge. So we're going to have 66 cards in here. Like I said, this is going to be a long video. Maybe I'll break it up into two parts. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do it. Because, I don't know, when you edit through these videos and try to actually upload them, it takes days to actually get <laughs> on YouTube. Mark Cooper, Bijan on the rookie, Steve Avila, Marvin Mims, and a stargazing of Jalen Hurts. Tons of base in here. Uh, the rookies value-wise out of Absolute aren't really too good, but if you get a CJ or something like that, it's got some value. So yeah, was not planning on going back to the National, but uh, you know, a few hours was not quite enough for me, so I'm going to go back tomorrow. Have some more footage for you all then. Dylan Horton. Hey, Hennon Hooker. Take that one. We got a CMC on top. Just cruise through this base. I'm going to try to get through this kind of quick. Jaden Reed, DJ Turner. Wilson, Cooper Cup, back to the base there. And a Brock Purdy on the Giraffe Diamonds. And, yeah, that was a pretty good find for them, I'd say. They're going to have to pay him soon. Oh, that is a purple Brock Purdy. Yeah, that might be exclusive to the Hobby Blasters. But the parallels in Absolute really don't do it for me. But the number parallels are actually pretty sweet. So if we get one of those, that'd be cool, too. All right, Mostert, Beckham... Hey, Puka, not bad at all. Paris Johnson, Tyree. Oh, what the frick? No way. <laughs> all right, we got a one of one DeMarvian over. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, was not expecting that at all. Um, I think I pulled maybe one or two other one of ones in my life. These hobby, wow. Okay, okay. We got a Will Anderson by Storm. All right, that was about as authentic of a reaction as you can get. Um, it's DeMarvian Overshone. He did not play this year. He was hurt. 
I believe uh, I'm going to have to take, I don't know, who do I take out of the sleeve over here to get that protected? <laughs> Sorry, Tyreek. That's wild stuff. All right, so these, these kids' crates can be like this sometimes. Uh, was not expecting to hit a one-of-one one rookie. And I know Cowboys fans are crazy, so <laughs> wow. All right, that's awesome. Um, sick. All right, so we're just getting started here. Yikes. All right, let's keep it rolling. Cruise through. The, I, that's like the last thing I'm expecting to hit out of a retail hobby blaster is a one of one. We got a uh, ready made of, was that Chase Brown? Looks like it. Yeah, okay. All right, so some good rookies and a one of one. And yeah, like I said, we're just getting started here. Is this just way too long of a video, guys? Let me know if it is. I'm sure you're fast forwarding through this. Terry McLaurin on the something or other. Uh, I don't, that's the purple again, like I said. Absolute. But also, like I said, if you look at the numbered parallel, that's pretty nice. <laughs> wow. All right, so was not expecting that. All right, so... Um, big W on that first one. I don't know what those go for, but anytime you pull a one one is awesome. <laughs> I will take that for sure. All right, keep it moving. Let's get into Rookies and Stars. This is a very nice product as well. Definitely a potential for really big hits out of these, so we'll see how we do. It's hard to beat a one of one even if it is to Marvin Overshone. Let's see if it can go in this one touch here. Sorry, I'm just going to be dragging on this, guys. It's going to be a long video. I don't know if that'll fit with this sleeve. I don't think this is a special sleeve. It is not, so we're just going to leave that out. But sick hit anyways. Let's just put that back here. This is kind of a mess. last thing I ever expect to pull when I'm opening a blaster box is a one of one so that's why I reacted how I just did I think I said something like holy frick all right we got some stuff in here rookies and stars oh points <laughs> all right well if you're gonna get a one of one you're gonna get points in the next one and it's 250 but not the worst Everybody's complaining about points all the time, but Panini has been pretty good about putting a lot of good stuff. Um, hey, there's a Jameer Gibbs as well and a Bijan too. They've been pretty good about putting stuff uh, up on their website lately as far as uh, redeeming those points is concerned. So not terrible. Better than some of the autos you could get. But, of course, you'd always prefer an auto. I think I was out of points though, so I'll get some more points. Let's see what else we got in here. Got a Marte Mapu. Another Jameer Gibbs, I like that. Jameer Gibbs hot box. Thurman Thomas on the Crusade. And then we have a, sorry, it's far away here. Uh, Tavius Robinson. So I really enjoyed the uh, Crusades this year. And every year, really, Crusade is a really nice insert. Cruise through this base again. Already taking a crazy long time. Was that Tannehill? Ryan Tannehill. Oh, we got something numbered there. Spoiled that one. We got a numbered Jalen Waddle. That's going to be to 149. Definitely cool there. I'll take that. Waddle, I think, is due for a big year if he can stay healthy. Was real banged up all last year. We got a Jay Jettas and a Michael Wilson as well. Whew. Can't think of a better way to spend 75 bucks right now. 
All right, we have a red plaid in here. Tannehill again on the base. We got a Stafford. Red plaid crusade. Lamar Jackson, not bad there. And then we have a red of Brenton Strange. Rookie. Jonathan Mingo. Hey, CJ. I'll take a CJ base. Any CJ is a good CJ. So we got the numbered Waddle and the CJ out of here. Probably two best hits so far. All right. Keep it rolling. Again, you guys have all seen this quite a bit. We got a Dalton Dr. Schultz. Tank Dell and a Jaden Reed. Make these ones there. Last pack out of this. We did get those points, but I'm not going to play too much after. Sorry, I'm opening this up with my teeth because my thumb is kind of busted up right now. All right, we have something in there. Another red plaid insert. Maybe a rookie on the red plaid. Airborne. All quarterbacks. Let's see. Oh, Derek Carr. Not the guy we're looking for there. And a Tyree Wilson. Mahomes on the standing O. And then a... What is that? Uh, Ventrell Miller. All right. So now we're going to get into this one. That's the biggest box in here probably. Sorry. This is going to be about a 20-minute video at least, so... But, hey, 101. <laughs> I've seen a lot of these kids' crates, too. They are loaded up from time to time. Um, I've seen a lot of 101s come out of these, so not all that crazy, really, for the kids' crate. We get a cracked dice out of here. Um, that's the big parallel in here at Keanu Benton. Those are sweet looking. Of course, we don't really want Keanu Benton on that, but oh well. Man, can you imagine if that was like a CJ or an AR? But from what I hear, uh, Overshone is going to be coming back this year. Third round pick, so they do have some draft capital invested in them. Roshan Johnson, Drake London. Well, I'll put him as, uh, yeah, sure, why not? I do like that cracked dice. I think Drake London will have a much better year with a competent quarterback throwing him the football. And Joshua Dobbs, Hassan Haskins. Hey, Josh Downs, that's a nice one. I will take that for sure. We have a Kyron Williams. Three more packs to go out of this, then we're going to get a national pack. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've stuck around this long, I appreciate it. Maybe you just fast forward to see the 101 and moved on. Keon White, James Cook on the silver, then a DeForest Buckner. See, so yeah, I would not want to buy one of these for $65, but you know, basically for the $20 it was out of one of these, not a bad deal. All right, we got another crack dice. This might be our last one. Prism was very kind to us this year, so. Not a rookie on that one. That's a Cameron Jordan. We have a Devonta Smith and a Mike, Mark, Mike, Mark Andrews. A couple more packs to go. Been a fun one. Oh, we do have one more cracked ice in here. Hey, Brian Branch, I will take that. And a Desmond King, so not a rookie on that one. So, kind of a bust on the prism, but... Let's see what we got in here. Last pack, Mojo, saving the national. These things are hard to open clean, <laughs> as you saw in the little preview here. I don't want to destroy the cards either. I might have already done it. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm just going to have to spoil whatever's on the back. Dude. I don't know what they did to these packs, but... All right, we're just spoiling it because I don't want to ruin J.C. Sheldon. Who is that? All right, WNBA. All right. That's what we're looking for. 
high flying action. <laughs> All right, so two base cards. We got this is about the worst national pack you're gonna get. But like I said, we got a one on one. We got a CJ. We got some other cool stuff. Um, big hit of the break here is definitely this. Anytime you hit a one on one, it's a W. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with those optic megas and some select blasters in the next few days, so stay tuned for that. And I'll be back with probably some more content from the National tomorrow. So, yeah, take it easy.